youngest uh, Caribbean carnival participants got the chance to strut their stuff in Scarborough today. The Junior Carnival Parade returned for the first time since the COVID-19 pandemic started. Participants danced and marched in colorful costumes from Malvern Community Center to Nielsen Park. Toronto police are trying to identify a woman in an arson investigation. Security camera images have been released. Investigators say a woman set fire to four vehicles parked on Weston Road near Victoria Avenue early this morning. She's also accused of starting a fire that engulfed a home on Sykes Avenue and lighting garbage on fire outside of an address on Weston Road. Police have made an arrest after a woman was killed in Toronto's East End earlier this month. Investigators say 26-year-old Nicholas Hirsch was taken into custody yesterday. He's been charged with first-degree murder in the death of Megan Elizabeth Crant. Toronto police continue to appeal for help in their search for a missing senior. 76-year-old Antonio Madera was last seen Tuesday in the Winona Drive and Mulberry Crescent area. He's described as 5'5", five five, 150 pounds, with short white hair and a white beard. He was wearing a dark jacket, light pants, and a baseball hat. Antonio's son is urging members of the public to help search for his father. Today marks 10 years since the Danzig Street shooting. Two people were killed and more than 20 were injured on July 16, 2012, when a pair of rival gangs opened fire at a community barbecue in the neighborhood near Morningside and Lawrence. Ontario's new Democrats have announced when they'll elect a new party leader. Andrea Horvath stepped down as leader following the June 2nd election. The party says her permanent successor will be elected in the first week of March 2023, and leadership hopefuls will have until early December to register as candidates. 24's Lena Ladefat. Thank you, Lena. I want to bring in Mayor Tory for reaction to the Queen's passing. Uh, he joins us now, Mayor. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Well, I do extend my condolences to the members of the royal family and on behalf of, uh, of all Torontonians with, who I think had a very special bond with the Queen. Yeah, Mayor, I think that uh, ties into the next point I wanted to make uh, with you very well, which is what you said earlier today. You, you said she was a beacon of eloquent stability and, and commitment to duty. I think that, that said it perfectly. I also wanted to talk about her legacy now uh, here, first of all, in Toronto. I mean, the legacy that she leaves behind. Well, I think the main legacy she leaves, she leaves behind is a system that uh, throughout her 70 years on the throne was working well. You know, if you really think about it, for all the things that are named after her here um, and, and things like that. Mayor, very briefly before we wrap up, I want to ask you, I know the CN Tower is set to go dark tonight uh, in honour of her. Are we planning on doing uh, anything else and seeing anything else in the city in terms, I know it's very early on, uh, to memorialise her in Toronto? But in the early in the early stages, uh, the flags have been lowered already uh, all across the city at city institutions. No question, a queen loved by so many here in Toronto. Mayor John Tory, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Mark. Okay. A statement from interim Conservative leader Candace Bergen reads: On behalf of the Conservative Party of Canada, I want to express our deepest condolences to the royal family. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh paid tribute to the queen this afternoon. Queen Elizabeth, beyond her public duties, was a mother, a grandmother, and a great-grandmother. And Toronto residents are reacting to the news of Her Majesty's passing. She meant so much to so many people. 412, 25 degrees. This is Toronto's breaking news, CP24. The flag at Buckingham Palace is flying at half-mast this afternoon after the death of the Queen. We'll have more coverage after the break. Well, after a two-year pandemic hiatus, the Canadian National Exhibition is officially open, and that is where we find CP24 Scott Hurst tonight. Scott, have you tried? What do you, what do you, what do you have in there? Is that the ketchup or the mustard ice cream, or both? <laughs> oh, sorry, Mark. Hey, how, how's it going? Yeah, you. So you I, I, for one, uh, am ready for these thunderstorms. It's been so hot and humid the last few days. I'm, 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 re I'm ready for it. I'm excited for the, it. The relief, yeah. It's too yes. hot. The thunderstorms, I don't know about that, but the relief, yeah. The relief, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Just a little bit of heat relief. Thanks, Eden. Welcome back. A Chicago meteorologist has learned that keeping up with the latest tech can be a challenge. 
Our winds will change. Right now, kind of hung up just a little bit. Oh, I moved the map. I didn't know I, I could do that. No way. Are you serious? Did you just discover that? I got to try it. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you believe that? Just touch it. Greg oh, Dutra oh, realized live on the air that his massive TV was actually a touch screen. The news anchor also ran over to test it out. He shared the video later on social media, joking that the technology was not in the training manual. I want to bring in Eden. Eden, uh, is this something that uh, has ever happened to you? Absolutely. You ever, uh... <laughs> I feel like technology is always changing, especially if you're just thrown into a job halfway through. You never really expect things to, I don't know, do cool things like that. But I love how excited he was. At least, exactly. At least he was a good sport about it. That's like one of the most important things in the whole thing. So, And the whole team was excited too, not there just There you go. Him, Everybody right? jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, I expect you to be excited next time I figure out something as cool as this, all right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Edie, what do you got for us? Well, right now.